Hello and welcome to the land of fairy tales. There are a lot of things that you can discover in this interactive world. Let's start exploring right away. Touch this clock, please. Good job! You can also move some things. Touch this glass cover and drag it to the pedestal. Good job! There is still more to discover. Take a look around and see what happens when you touch things. If you are done exploring, touch the continue button in the lower right corner to start the story. There is a lot to discover in each chapter, so stay curious! Have fun! Once upon a time, in a village far, far away, there was a girl who lived with her father on a noble estate. Her mother had died a few years ago in the wintertime. Both father and daughter still missed her dearly. They would often visit the mother's favorite place in the garden of the estate. She had much enjoyed sitting at a little pond in the shade of an old monumental elm tree. In springtime, her father married again and his new wife moved with her two daughters to the noble estate. For a while, they lived together quite happily. One day, the father had to travel to a faraway land and would be gone for a very long time. Soon after he left the estate, the stepmother and her daughters revealed their true, spiteful selves. You bear more resemblance to the oven door than a human being. Do you sleep in the ash pan, sister dear? <laughs> she has taken to her new role rather well, I'd say. Truly a Cinderella. <laughs> Mind your tongue. By the way, Mother expects the kitchen to be in perfect shape within the hour. Top top, dinner won't prepare itself. Get out, both of you! I've been working very hard since dawn, and I'll never finish with the two of you around. <sighs> I should take care of the dishes first. Dear me, there are ashes everywhere. I should sweep the floor before preparing dinner. Dear me, there are ashes everywhere. I should sweep the floor before preparing dinner. little bird, so weak. Perhaps some grains will help it recover its strength. One day, a messenger arrived at the estate and delivered an invitation for the royal ball. Elegant dresses were ordered at the tailor's shop. A servant was sent to town to purchase shoes, hats, and handbags. On the afternoon of the ball, the entire family came together in the estate's parlor. Cinderella, help your sisters with the dresses. Cinderella, hand me the pink dress. Cinderella, help me with the purple dress. That 
dress is for me, not for her. And where is the dress that you promised to get for me? Ha! I'd be ashamed to be seen with you in public. You want to attend the royal ball? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! The tailor could only finish two dresses. There simply wasn't enough time to make a third. That's not fair. I'm doing most of the chores around here, yet I am to stay at home. Besides, you could have told me earlier. I'm sure the tailor didn't just realize today that he won't be able to finish three dresses in time. Enough! Cinderella to the kitchen! At once! So, what are you complaining about exactly? I have a right to attend the ball just like the rest of you. After all, I am working very hard each day. So, for a change, I should be allowed some fun. I have already finished all of today's chores. Ha! Huh. You haven't finished your work today, so you won't have time to attend the ball anyway. Separate the lentils from the ashes and be done by the time we return home. Don't you dare overlook a single one of them. Oh dear, I'll never finish that task, even if I were to spend the whole night sorting them. to us. We will help you, so you will have time to attend the Royal Ball. Thank you so much, dear pigeons. But I still don't have a dress suitable for attending a noble ball. whoop dee -de doo whoop dee -de doo The wishing tree will provide for you. As on nearly every night, a swarm of fireflies danced around the old, gnarled elm tree in the garden of the estate. Cinderella always felt very close to her deceased mother when visiting this place. As she walked into the garden, she sensed a warm and caring presence, which urged her in a friendly yet decisive way to walk right up to the elm tree. The tawny owl settled on one of the stronger branches and repeated, Whoop dee dee doo! Whoop dee dee doo! The wishing tree will provide for you! I need a new dress. Maybe the elm tree can help me. Ah, <laughs> such a beautiful dress! Thank you, dear mother. And whoop! Dee -dee doo whoop dee -dee doo The wishing tree will provide for you. Cinderella admired her reflection in the little pond. Those were the most beautiful clothes she had seen in her entire life. Thus, she was now properly dressed to attend the ball. But how should she get to the castle? The wind rippled the pond's surface and a swarm of fireflies crossed it. As soon as it had arrived next to where Cinderella was standing, it transformed into a kindly-faced fairy. Fetch me a small animal and I will transform it into a noble steed. That's right, no need for risky experiments. An all-time favorite can be a sensible choice. That's right, no need for risky experiments. Equus Magicus. My spell will last until midnight. Make sure not to return much later than that.
Cinderella was relieved to have found her way to the castle. She had never felt more beautiful than on this very evening and was looking forward to the ball. Overjoyed, she rode to the castle's entrance. Upon her arrival, she noticed that the gate had fallen shut. There was a single guard outside the gate, and he was fast asleep. Dear Mr. Guardsman, please excuse me. Uh, Mr. Guardsman? The guardsman seems to be very fast asleep indeed. Maybe I should attempt opening the gate by myself. I should try to open the gate. This chain over there seems to be connected to it. Feeling very happy, Cinderella climbed the stony steps at the foot of the castle. Two servants opened the door to the castle proper. Once inside, she followed the sound of music up to the artfully ornate double door of the ballroom and entered it. She made her way through the crowd and took a look around. In a corner of the room, she noticed an inconspicuous yet elegantly dressed young man he appeared rather unhappy about his current company. The imposing lady moved in ever so much closer towards him, which he did not enjoy at all. Cinderella made up her mind to help him out of his predicament and approached the ill-matched couple. I wonder what would be a good way to distract that lady? You have saved me from a most tedious and intrusive person. Please accept my sincerest thanks for this deed. May I ask you to dance with me? <laughs> You're most welcome. And I happily accept your invitation for the next dance, good sir. Cinderella found much delight in her dancing party. They moved effortlessly across the dance floor, enjoying each other's animated talk. Every now and then, the other guests would form little groups, whispering in excitement while pointing at the dancers. The hours passed by unnoticed, so absorbed were both of them by dance and conversation. Suddenly, the castle's clock tower started to chime the midnight hour. Cinderella startled, and the pleasant, dreamlike atmosphere of the dance was broken. Oh, they're late already! I thank you for this wonderful evening. Oh, I really need to hurry now. Cinderella had been so excited about the dancing and the pleasant conversation that she had forgotten all about time. Rushing down the many steps of the castle stairs, she continuously remembered the fairy's advice to return before midnight. Some way along the stairs, her heel got caught in the cracks of a step. She was in such a hurry that the shoe slipped effortlessly from her foot. Only several steps further down did she notice the missing of a shoe. Unhappily, she left the beautiful shoe behind, mounted her horse, and galloped down the road.
The spell lasted until Cinderella had reached her father's estate. She hurried to her chamber, put on her nightgown, and climbed into her bed. After a while, she heard the others return from the ball and nervously held her breath. Would they look for her? Were there any hints about her forbidden trip to the castle? But there really was no reason for worrying. As per usual, none of the other women seemed to remember her. The next morning, there was a new cause for excitement. Shortly after breakfast, a noble entourage rode into the estate's court. The prince explained that he was looking for his mysterious dancing partner, who had left the ball in such a hurry. The stepmother immediately called for her two daughters and introduced them to the prince. Could one of them really be the woman he had met at last night's ball? In that case, the shoe had to fit, which was lost during the escape. Oh, your highness! Please let my daughters try the shoe. I am certain that one of them is the one you are seeking. I do not recognize anyone among these ladies. However, I should let them try the shoe, just to be sure. Your Highness, I recall the many dances we shared last night. The shoe will most certainly fit me. whoop did he do whoop did he do The foot does not match the shoe. My prince, don't you recognize me? The shoe in your hand belongs to me. Let me try it on. Whoop did he do? Whoop did he do? The foot does not match the shoe. I do recognize you. Your attire has changed, but your gentle eyes are sparkling the same way they did during last night's dance. You are the prince? Please excuse my behavior at the ball, your highness. You must think of me as a very impolite person. The more I thank you for troubling yourself with returning my shoe. On the contrary, I think you are an absolutely wonderful person. I feel incredibly happy around you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you at my side. Would you honor me by becoming my wife? You make me incredibly happy as well, and I have missed your company dearly. Yes, yes, I would love to share my life with you. Oh. A few days later, Cinderella's father finally returned from his long journey. She told him all about the events at the ball and the day after. He was very happy for his daughter. Cinderella and her prince tried on various garments so they could find the most splendid ones for their wedding day.
the wedding of Cinderella and the prince took place shortly afterwards. Guests arrive from all parts of the kingdom to attend the celebration of this glorious event. Everyone agreed that it was one of the most splendid occasions they had ever seen. Bride and groom were overjoyed. They had become very fond of each other in no time at all and lived happily ever after. Aschenputtel, ein interaktives Märchen.